Okay, this is going to be like the woven cube, but with a twist. So right click and create a cube, select the entire object. Now you'll notice I'm off to one side, but if you press the A key, that allows you to recenter on the object you've got selected. Select the face tool, right click, inset, hold the control key down and inset 40%. Right click again and intrude, hold the control key down and intrude 0.4. Select the entire object and clean it up. So somewhere in here, let's clean up there. We go right. Okay, next step is press space, select edge tool, select one of these outer edges, press I for identical and G, and then right click and bevel, hit tab and put in a bevel of 0 0.05. Press space to deselect. Right, we'll take this entire object and duplicate it along the X axis. So make sure you're holding the shift key down so you can go a definite number of steps because we're going to be putting these back together later. Hide the object you've just created and go back to the one we were working on before. Okay, we'll start, and this is a little bit fiddly, you need to get hold of one of these internal triangles here, and then press the I key to get all the identical internal triangles, right click, extrude, normal, hit tab, and you want a value of 0 0.15 for your extrude. Then right click and mirror. Okay, so you can see what we've done there. There is, you might notice, these little stubs left over from the mirroring. Right, if I press uh, the face tool and get hold of the side of one of those stubs, press A, I can target that and hopefully, if I can get in there, hitting the A key, to the end. So press space to deselect, get the end triangle, press I so all of them are selected, and then plus to cover that area and delete. And that just tidies those little bits up. Right, the next trick then is to take one of these edges, use I for identical, and then G, and we're going to use the C command to cut, well, connect those faces, then we're going to cut them. So press C, that's connected them, right click and loop cut. And that will have chopped that shape up into lots and lots of little separate shapes, which is what I was aiming for. Press space to deselect, select entire object, press on one of the corners, and then deselect it and hide it so you can see these exposed ends and then select a face. I'll just use A to reselect the uh, recenter my selection so I can see what I'm doing. Bring back the bit you'd hidden and press I for identical and then right click rotate normal hold the shift key down while you're doing this right click rotate normal hold the shift key down while you're doing that and put in a rotation of 45 degrees. Now these edges are not lining up perfectly the faces aren't and so what I'm going to do when I weld it right click uh, entire object weld is use the dialog and put in a, a lower value for the tolerancy I'm going to put in 0.05 and then hopefully that'll weld all these bits together and you can see I've got my first part of the shape so at this point I'll uh, and what I'll do is I'll select the entire object select the face right click and assign a material to it by right clicking on the material say new material and give it just a different color so make it dark okay so that's got one color on and the other will be default so I'll just hide that one and bring in my other cube press A to center the view on it and then we'll start again this section might be a little bit tricky because sometimes you get artifacts when you do this but let's give it a go so select that face identical right click uh, not extract I want to extrude extrude normal tab again and we want 0.15 for the extrude as we had before then right click and mirror once again we're in, we're in the position I'll just press space to make sure I've got nothing else selected uh, of trying to get rid of these webs that we use to generate the right spacing so if I select the side one there and press A and then rotate and press space to deselect I can get an end there so that's the end of one then use identical so I've got them all selected plus and then delete and hopefully that will have tidied things up right the next step as before select one of these outer edges press identical use G then press C and then right click and loop cut It'll take a little while to think about this and then press space to deselect select one of these corners find it in this list then de deselect it and hide it then use the face tool to select an end bring back the one you'd hidden use identical then right click rotate normal hold the shift key down and put in your 45 degree rotation 
So you can see that value at the top left there when you're doing the rotate. Select the entire object, right click, and weld dialog. And again, we'll lower the tolerance to make up for the fact that the sides of the faces are a little bit wobbly. So hopefully you'll see all these corner points join up. I can now bring my other object back and then I'll select the this object since it's the one off the origin and move it back along the x-axis holding the shift key down so it fits inside the first object and then use the A key to recenter my view. Select both of these objects and then smooth them down a bit to whatever level of smoothing I think I can get away with before Wings 3D crashes and the size of the object. So press space. As this is my 200th tutorial that I've uploaded to YouTube since uh, doing the YouTube channel, and there are other tutorials on some of um, Horrors and Mind's product, then uh, I thought I'd tackle something a bit tricky. So there you go. I hope you have fun with that and uh, we'll um, incorporate it in your renders. Right, that's the end of the video.